<laughs> Bro, what? Why do I document the hood? Honestly, it's the same reason. People who hike shoot mountains. Or people who like music shoot concerts. This is where I'm from. This is what I know. Everywhere I looked, I felt like I was being sold a lifestyle that wasn't my reality. Whether it be through TV shows, through movies, or just everyday life. Growing up, my life wasn't Zoe 101 or Drake and Josh. Some good shows, I ain't gonna lie, but that's not my reality. That's not where I come from. I do this because it's important to me. Growing up, we never saw kids that looked like us. From places like us, having fun, enjoying life. I document, that's what I do. I can't stop documenting an important part of a culture because Jessica and Johnny in Idaho don't like it or they feel uncomfortable. That's what I do. I need kids that look like me and come from places like me to know that you can do something creatively. Shit, I document the hood to give people a direct insight into a life some of them will never live or never know what it's like to live. Shit, it's people in the hood who will never know what it's like to live in the suburbs and we don't knock people for showing us the suburbs. Sometimes lifestyles aren't meant for you to understand or be a part of. Some things don't need an explanation. At the end of the day, I document the hood because that's where I'm from. And that's what I know. And that's what I love. All right, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Valandis, and we are back with another video. All right, so this is definitely not the first time I'm making this type of video or speaking on this subject, and I know for a fact it is not going to be the last time I'm making it. If you are new to my channel or you're new to who I am, in general, I am a photographer from the inner city of Detroit, Michigan, whose main goal in life and through my photography is to document the, the areas of which I've grown up in and the people that I'm around and the type of people I grew up with and just that kind of lifestyle. That is the type of lifestyle that I document and um, kind of have been documenting for a few years now. So I do other things clearly like I take regular pictures. I wouldn't call them regular pictures, but I take pictures of, of things and people without guns and models and all the other stuff. I'm a photographer at the end of the day, but, but mainly I'm a documentary photographer from the inner city of Detroit, Michigan. And a lot of people don't understand why I do what I do. A lot of people, even if they don't like guns, I've come across people who don't like guns and they're like, I don't like guns, but I understand the work and I, I get where you're coming from and this type of work is important. Then there's people who don't like guns at all and they have other reasons clearly of why they don't like my photos. But there's a constant theme being ran and connected to my work that I'm that I promote gun violence and shit like that. But I feel like people see work, they interpret it and then like they take that and then like that's what it is. Even if the artist themselves explains to them why they do what they do and what it's for, they still take this um, narrative and make it their own and then they run with it and then people have that narrative and then like it's a whole big thing so there's a running narrative that I promote gun violence within my work and I always find that narrative to be kind of just like um, like a lazy and just like st stupid narrative because one you have the power this is 2020 you have the power to actually figure out what's going on if you want to know more about 
someone's work or why they do something, you can ask them. This isn't like the 1970s where you have to like send a postcard. To and a lot of people, if they don't understand something, then they just don't like it. And if it makes them uncomfortable, they don't like it. But I also agree that art is supposed to make you uncomfortable. And I want to do the main reason why I do the work that I do is because I come from this place that I photograph. The subjects in my photos are real people with real situations going through real life stuff that a lot of other people don't necessarily have to go through and or worry about. One thing I wanted to do is for one, people who have never ever been to the hood and don't know what it's like, there needs to be a way for people to see what's going on here and to kind of have that like inside look into a world that isn't theirs because we're always giving an inside look into a world that's not ours and there's never any problem with it because it's like a good thing and um, it's not promoting gang violence and shit like that even though a lot of people in my photos aren't in gangs you can't I mean you people a lot of people like to associate you know black men holding guns in the hood with gangs and shit like that but whatever that's not the point the lifestyle that's so within commercialized just everything TV movies music is always just like I wouldn't say is whitewashed because I don't want to like put a race onto like music or clothing or anything like that but um, you mostly see white people and people that don't look like me do these type of things and it's like this is what people are supposed to do this is the dream this is and it's always just that's what's supposed to that's what life is supposed to be so and for me I grew up there's there's no art programs there's no photography programs in school there's nothing of the sort and for me I kind of just wanted to be a familiar face for kids who look just like me who come from the same situations as me who grew up just like me and I wanted to be that face and let them know that you can be and do what you want to do and be who you want to be without having to change or like be that person that society accepts and appreciates you can be who you are and accept where you come from and be who you are actually and you know what i'm saying you don't have to throw any of that away to please anybody and you can definitely like make it somewhere while also staying true to who you are and the values you have in life because coming from where i come from you you have different values there's different things you go through growing up there's different things you got to worry about growing up there's different things you end up liking growing up coming from a place like the inner city of detroit rather than like the suburbs of Livonia. so mainly i kind of just like document the hood because is what I'm used to, is what I like, is where I feel comfortable, is also, I think, very important for a lot of people who don't have an understanding of, because a lot of people want to write this off and pretend that it doesn't happen because as Americans, I think some Americans at least, kind of want to pretend that like everything in America is all good and like these situations don't happen and everybody in these situations did it to themselves. So um, I kind of just like, don't want people to forget that this is a place and like this, this also happens and this is, definitely still happening today and it's not because of anything other than the misfortune and thing the way things have been set up so but at the same time I'm a documentary photographer so if I'm going to document something I cannot leave out a vital piece of documentation just because it makes other people uncomfortable that's just not what I'm going to do also it is okay I feel like at least to you know, express your second amendment right. And a lot of people from the hood and where I'm from have that right just like everybody else have that right. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I do think it's a double standard because a lot of people are upset because it's like how you present these people holding guns because they're like not in the woods with like their knee on a deer and a rifle on their back. It's like considered a bad thing. And I guess you're like not American if you're like, you know, like in front of a, and in the hood, I guess, with guns and like you're proud to have your guns and stuff like that. And I don't think it's like, a, it shouldn't be a, a thing where these people are allowed to be happy, to be gun owners and proud and they're American. And then on the other side, these people can't be because they come from a different place and they portray it in a different way. It may not be a lifestyle that some people can understand or people can, like some people can relate to, but at the end of the day, there's people with lifestyles that I don't understand and that I don't relate to, like people who are really into riding bikes and they wear like the tight spandex, like suits when they go ride bikes, or like people that's really into camping or people that's like into skydiving or whatever, people who went to the army, you know what I'm saying? These are lifestyles that I have no idea about and I can't understand, but I don't get upset when people portray them and or you know what i'm saying express how they 
feel about these hobbies or what whatever it is they do because uh i guess for i guess for some people it's like these hobbies are the good hobbies and these are not the good hobbies and the more that i grow i feel like the more followers or like people i'm gonna run into who don't know me who haven't seen this video who haven't seen me post about it on twitter two years ago who hasn't seen the documentary i posted two years ago who hasn't you know what i'm saying just been following me and know who i am as a person and know who and what i stand for and why i do what i do a lot of people there's gonna be a lot of people who just come along and they're just seeing this photo of somebody with a gun and they're gonna be like what the fuck is this why are we enjoying this why are we promoting this why are we you know what i'm saying it's gonna be those people and like i like i said i used to get mad but i can't even get mad no more because i have to understand that not everybody's gonna understand and even if you try to make people understand there's some people who don't want to understand there's people with their own narratives and there's people with their own narratives of my people so you can't really explain things to those people and have them actually listen like people are gonna watch this video and be like yeah fucking right you're full of shit this and that because that's happened before where i explain myself and people are like yeah right you're this you're that and it's like okay i didn't know you knew me or you had a conversation with me outside of this video even though this con even though this video isn't even a conversation with me you know what i'm saying so um there's gonna be those people i can't you can't even get mad at that type of stuff no more at the end of the day because it's worthless and it's pointless and it serves no purpose to the actual fight that i'm fighting and what i'm trying to achieve within my work and just my life as a person so yeah and anyway i just love where I come from, from the food we eat, to the clothes that we wear, to the music that we listen to, to the lifestyles that we're into. I love everything about it. I'm a documentary photographer, so that is what I document. I cannot leave out a piece of uh, vital information within this documentary series or uh, photos because, because somebody in Idaho living in their mom's basement feels uncomfortable or because somebody in the backwoods of Georgia feels uncomfortable. I cannot, you know what I'm saying, cater to everybody. It's, going to be people who don't like it there's going to be people who's like eh then there's going to be people who like it it is what it is this is art it's meant to make you feel uncomfortable if you don't feel uncomfortable then more power to you if you do feel uncomfortable try not to feel uncomfortable or just don't look at it it's easy as that we also live in an age where we don't have to see stuff if we don't want to see it and yeah i see stuff i don't like every single day but i never comment on it unless it's racism then i, I you know what I'm saying? I don't, I can't stand for that. So anyway, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is a place for all your music and sound needs if you make YouTube videos. Every single song in the background playing of my videos, every single sound that I've used in like my short films has came from Epidemic Sound. It is a very, very, very good place. I think the best place to get music for your videos Ever because they have literally music for anything if you like disco music rock and roll rap hip-hop jazz uh, house music they have it all every single sound you can think of they have it so if you want a free one month membership to epidemic sound please visit the link in my description and sign up it would be very much appreciated Anyway, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, as always, please remember to ring the bell so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. It is truly and gratefully and always appreciated. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna go handle some of my business and get this all taken care of. Um, whoever won the camera, I don't know who it is yet. If you won the camera, congratulations. Everybody who didn't win the camera, don't be so sad because there will be other times when you can win something that I'm giving away. I'm thinking about doing monthly giveaways, so there you go. You have a chance every single month to win something. Anyway, hope you guys are having a fantastic day, blessed day. Let's go do some shit.